Hi, this is John from Pottery Works. Uh, just I'm making this video to uh, to send to Steve Booten or Boaten. Um, I was asking him some questions about he was doing these uh, tea bowls, and he uses a recipe that is potash feldspar and wood ash 50/50 uh, mix. At the time, all I had was the G200 feldspar, which is, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Custer feldspar. So I wanted to see if there was a difference. So I did some firing, I did some test tiles. This is the same clay. Uh, one of them is the G200, the one's Custer. Not a whole lot of difference. If you look at the color, the, the background color is the same. I think this one here got a little more dip to it, so the color changed a little bit. Uh, the firing wasn't great. I had about a 50-50 firing. Some stuff came out. Some stuff didn't reduce at all for some reason. I thought I'd got a really good reduction. It was the first fire I did at night. So I, I, I want to think that that's probably... Here's another of the 200s. As you can see, this is even closer to this one. This is the Custer, this is the 200. The big one is the 200. And I dipped these for a little longer than I needed to. Then I did another test, the same clay with the, uh, the Custer uh, with a little bit of iron, red iron oxide. Uh, and this is copper carbonate. So it didn't turn red, so I know I didn't get the reduction that I needed. I also did another test with 50% red clay and 50% volcanic ash, which you can see, if, if I'm hitting this right, let me see if I can hit this right on the video. There's not a whole lot of, it's a very flat, you can see it shows up as gloss on the video, but it's not really, it's very matty. And I know from firing this at cone 6, it comes blue. So I'm figuring it's going to do something different. But a lot of this stuff I'm going to try to refire. I've got a whole pile of stuff out there that I'm taking that just T-bowls that didn't really work uh, that I'm going to uh, just wet and put a little, sprinkle a little wood ash on it to see if I can't get a little more character to them. Uh, this is a white stoneware clay body. This is the Custer feldspar with a little bit of lumps of, I just dribbled on of, uh, of the G200, just a plain, just straight feldspar. Not a whole lot of character, but it's not a terrible bowl. And I'm going to change my slip a little bit. I had put this the white clay with uh, the 205 slip, a red slip over top. And then if, you, if you've watched his videos, you'll see how he takes it off with a little piece of wood or a little tool to give it some texture. Now he's firing with wood ash, so. You know, I, I'm not ready for that yet. I uh, I don't have a wood kiln. But these were electric fired to cone 10. And like I said, the, the cones, 9 laid over a little bit. 10 was still straight up, but my parameter said I was up to 260, 261. So, or I'm sorry, 2361. So I was up temperature-wise on my parameter, but my cones weren't. Um, this is the same clay, red clay. This is a rutile blue glaze. This is a new trial. This is a test glaze for me. This piece came out really nice. I like the color differential in it. Certainly no blue in it, uh, which is supposed to where it pools is supposed to be blue. Um, still a nice glaze, but uh, just not really happy with it. This is my white ash glaze. It's just a... a a white glaze that's made with ash. I, this one, for some reason, got nice reduction. I put a little bit of the feldspar on here. Um, not a lot of difference in between the the red and the white clay. But the best one was this. This is the rutile blue. Let me see. No, no, I'm sorry. This is the Custer feldspar and wood ash, 50-50 mix. But this is on a cone six standard clay. I believe the number is one uh, one twelve. 
It's got a speckle in it. And I've never fired it in my t cone 10, and the only reason I did is because I didn't have enough room in my electric kiln. I had it extra, which I'm glad I did, because that really, I'm really happy with that color break. Um, it's not the real coarse texture that you really want with a T-bowl, but I, I like the colors. But that's the uh, Custer Felspar and Wood Ash 50-50. All right, uh, I'm going to refire some of those pots. I'll do another video on that and s just to see uh, how they came out. But you can see this one here. I think this just had a lot more glaze on the tile because it really kind of came out to that color. Where, you know, this one is just, just a totally different animal. All right, this is John. See you again.